Hello, it's Tom here from the Dynamics Consultant Support Team, here to talk through a small but very common issue that we get um, a lot on our support desk, and that's to do with the VAT return periods within Making to Hatch Digital. Now, Making to Hatch Digital, or MTD, has been around for a good few years now, and everything touch wood seems to be going fine. We don't have many sort of queries about um, how the process works or that it's, it's broken on anything like that but the common question here is what you can see in front of you is that you have periods that don't get updated with this example in front of me uh, you can see here from VAT period number six onwards are all shown is still open now the customer is absolutely fine they've gone on to the HMRC website and they know that those returns are closed and it's all absolutely fine but it's just not showing that in business central and so what we uh, what they've asked or what a lot of people ask is how do we get these to show that they're closed to sort of show what is on the HMRC website and it's just a case of the process that they are following to get these VAT return periods in the first place most people when they do this and this is exactly the case here is when they run the get VAT return period using this button the ribbon they just put the start and end dates for the period that they want to get. Um, and that works, it gets that period, but the get VAT return periods function in the ribbon does more than that. If you expand out the dates, you will then it will go through and get updates on the previously submitted VAT return periods as well as just getting the new ones. So um, with this example, I'm going to show you how we do that. And I'm going to try and close just sort of the first two or three so then um, when I go back to this customer I can explain sort of how to do it and show them on other ones that are open still I don't want to close all of them um, so yeah I'm just going to update these uh, these three here so to do that we do the get VAT return periods and as you can see I'm the way I'm doing this I'm not doing it to get new dates this is purely just to do an update on these ones so that you, you don't have to do this at the same time as getting a new VAT return period. You can just run this ad hoc whenever you need to or want to. Um, so I'm just going to put the start date of, let's do 28th of June 2020. So that in, that's before this start date here. And because I only want to do sort of the three down, I'm going to do the 2nd of April 2021. So that will take me to just the other side of this range here. OK, I click OK. Now, this is just a, um, a message that pops up about fraud prevention. It's a sort of new functionality that's come into um, with HMRC. Absolutely fine, exactly kind of what I was expecting it to do. So all I click now is yes. And here we go, retrieve. VAT return period successful, including zero new ones. So it hasn't got any new ones, which is fine, what we were wanting, but it's modified for. So if I go to OK, ah, so instead of doing the three, it actually included the one um, that was within the, uh, the April date range that I did. So that is all it takes to update those ones. You can see they're all closed now, and the VAT return status of those is that they're closed as well. Uh, so yeah, like I said, very sort of small thing. It's kind of a bit of um, house um, house cleaning, but um, it makes your system look nicer. Um, anyway, hope that helps. Bye, bye.